Hello, Amarana. Good morning. We're going to begin our live in about one minute. <laughs> I see some people are coming on. I can't see who you are, but I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Lisa, Donya, good to see you. Good to have y'all out here. As you can see, I have my coffee. This is my second cup, I must confess. I see some others coming on. <clears throat> Hey, good to have y'all. Good, Lisa. Cheers. <laughs> oh, it feels good this morning. I am drinking Dunkin' Donuts hazelnut. I get the hazelnut, I get the cinnamania, and I get some sort of a caramel one I get. Good to have y'all. We're going to go ahead and start. This morning is a laid back morning. It is a social meetup if you've never been here before. And really we just get on here and we just talk and we share about our day. And really this time is meant to um, basically encourage others. And if you got any questions you want to ask or anything you're, <clears throat> you're thinking, I'd love to hear from you. This week we have been discussing potential. We have been sharing, hey, Pammy. Good morning. Jennifer. Heather. Good to have y'all. So glad you could be here and be out here. This morning we're just having a social meetup. We're just enjoying each other's company. Number two. Yeah, number two for me too. In South Carolina, it's a little bit overcast. It looks it looks rainy off and on, so not sure what our day is going to entail, but my husband and I are thinking about, what's it called, Lynn? We're going to go, we have a, a Jeep, it's an old, older Jeep, and we're going to go to some sort of ATV trails. We're going to ride trails today. We have never done this. So <laughs> we made our own trails through uh, National Forest Land, and then uh, we were we were not reprimanded, but there was a gentleman out there who was hunting, and he said, you know, you're not supposed to be riding along those those lines, certain areas. And we're like, no, we didn't know that. So finding somewhere else we can go and get, get into it. Praying for rain. What area are you in, Lisa? I want to. What area y'all in? Is there any Texas people? I want to go, yeah. Yeah, I wonder what you meant. I want a hoe. <laughs> I was thinking it might be some sort of uh, acronym for something. I wasn't sure what it was. <laughs> hey, it's okay, Jennifer. Crazy word. Spell correct anyway, isn't it? Houston. Yes, I've been seeing things, Lisa, about Texas. So, that's y'all have been in a drought. Oh, I'm sorry. We are... It's great. I mean, it's some of the best years I think we've had as far as produce that's coming in from our fields, gardens, and such. So our grass was cut, I think, maybe Thursday, and it already looks like it needs to be cut again. It's growing so. But it's not always like this in South Carolina. Sometime about July, August is when it gets so brittle. The, the grass is crunchy, so dry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm in Kentucky. Good morning. Katia. Is that how do you say it? Katia? Uh, I actually Dickinson more south, so it's all around us. Okay. Well, praying for rain for Texas. Lord, send the rain so you can have beautiful trees and flowers and produce. Well, what are y'all doing today? Yeah, I know it. I know, Lisa. It's flooding or drought, isn't it? Seems like. Katia. Katia. Beautiful name. Thank you for being out here. Thank you. Just joined Katia. I think I saw. I believe you posted your picture out there. 
I think maybe you're a photographer, if I remember correctly. So forgive me if I've got you confused, but Barbara, good to have you, Barbara. I'm Melanie, and this is Roxy out here in the background. Roxy's my little rescue dog. She's my little combo baby. <laughs> she, uh, she's been, we've been putting her in our bed and letting her sleep at the foot of our bed because, um, she's kind of one of those little people that can't be left alone that you might get up and some stuff could be shredded. <laughs> so, so we are, we put her in there because my husband's very firm. She does not move. She's very good, but she goes in my daughter's room. She gets locked in the bathroom. She tried to claw her way out the other night. So anyway, I am not worrying about my damaged doors. It's just par for the course, isn't it? Hiking trails today. Okay. You do photography. Yeah, I do photography as well. I love to uh, video and I do put a lot of videos out there. I hope it doesn't aggravate y'all, but I'm just sharing fun things as I see them and as life goes by. Oh, I'm sorry. Phoenix. Yeah, Rise of the Phoenix. Ganya, good. You go, girl. You go and you have a great day. I'm reading y'all's comments. Somebody's uh, recuperating from surgery. I hate the way my phone won't let me see exactly everybody's comments. Hiking trails today, Katia is. Okay, good. My son is a photographer. That is what he does. He is, I guess you would say, a professional. He's out of college. He took that actually in college, and he has his own business. And uh, I was kind of sharing that. Um, I will take all these photographs and these images on my phone and with my camera. I have a Nikon. I'll, I'll shoot, and I think, man, I got some good shots until I see his. And then his are like, he takes a picture of a sign. We were out of town. I was like, oh my goodness, he took this picture and it's just beautiful and it's just a sign. <laughs> you know, I think I've got something beautiful in mind, but he has a great eye for it. But, but good morning. Good morning, everyone. D and Denise, good to have y'all. Great. So glad y'all could be with us. Claudia. Hey, Claudia. Good to have you. Jennifer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Lisa, okay. I, I didn't see the name, but I saw surgery. So, prayers for your recovery, Lisa. Get well soon. I uh, I had something happen to me this week or this past week that has never happened. I had my one of my hips, all right, Heather, heading to Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market. Hey, that's great. Get you some good vegetables. Hopefully, you'll get some good juicy tomatoes. Maybe some peppers. I don't know what area you're in, Heather. Um, we eat okra in South Carolina. It's one of our favorite things. I put it in. I, if I have vegetable soup, it must have okra in it, or it's just not southern vegetable soup. Uh, we fry it. And here lately, we've been, my husband and I have been working on being more healthy. So we stir fry it. And it's actually very good stir fried. I never would have thought that. But maybe if you're in the South, you'll buy you some okra. Rhode Island. Well, I wonder what it feels like in Rhode Island, Barbara. Is it cool up there? I don't know. Some of the northern states, they get about as hot as we do here in the south. So, Well, I was sharing earlier, I am heading out to some ATV trails. We have a Jeep 4x4. It's an older Jeep, and we like to go and ride through. We have national forest land very near us, like within a 10 minute drive. And we like to go and just get on the dirt road trails and just kind of ride around. Well, we found out that about 20, 25 minutes from us, there's an ATV trail. And you can go and they have all these trails through the woods, through the fields, hills. And so we're going to do it. And they have like beginner, intermediate, and difficult. <laughs> I told my husband, I said, please make sure we start on the beginner. <laughs> Don't you, I did not get my horses yet. I had been waiting for, um, there is uh, a rescue farm. And I'll tell you, the name of it's Big Oak Rescue Farm. They are not far from where I live. And 
she had some horses to get from um, different places, and and I don't know that she hasn't picked them up or or what. But yeah, I'm very near where I they have a a lot of equestrian trails about ten minutes away, ten minutes by car. So I'm waiting. We have been waiting. They they will allow us to adopt the horses and keep them there and basically pay for a while, especially for them to recover if they're having to. Hey Rose, good to have you. Especially if they're having to recover because um, she just picked up. I want to say. Um, all right, this is a horrible thing. Some guy had about, I don't know if it was 20 or 40, I can't remember the number, horses that were malnourished. They look terrible. They had not been taken care of. They've been neglected. I'm not sure what was going on. Um, and all of the horses, the female ones, were pregnant. They were about to foal. And anyway, I guess uh, whoever does it, Whoever whoever goes out, I don't know if it's Department of Natural Resources, but they found out. So um, he basically um, they took the horses away. So she's got, I think, ten or fifteen of them. But they can't let them be adopted out until they settle it in court with this guy. Just unreal. So just say a prayer for these horses. They've been in bad shape. Backs look terrible. Skinny bones showing. Hair looks terrible. Hoops. Just everything. So. Great blessing, yes. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people have been sick. I know COVID's been going around again, so y'all stay healthy. If you um, if ever heard of the regimen of taking the zinc, vitamin C, vitamin D, so uh, do some things and exercise. Get out, exercise and walk. And I think having a joyful spirit and keeping our minds as much as possible focused on the good around us does a lot to boost our immune system. I think it's even proven that uh, people who have, who laugh and who have more of a positive outlook have uh, better immune systems. They're able to fight sickness more easily. So anyway, there's other things going around too. I had a little touch of something, but it Came and went within like 24 hours, and I, I wasn't really sick. Just had itchy eyes, and it could have even been allergy. I thought maybe it was something I ate. But, uh, but yeah, there's a lot going around. Here's to your health. Coffee. <laughs> or hot tea, if you drink hot tea. I do love my coffee. I drink hot tea at night. I'll usually drink some sort of an herbal type tea, anything that's decaffeinated because I'm one of those people that I just get jacked up easily and I, I don't like to go to bed early anyway. So any little caffeine really just makes me want to stay up to about one or two in the morning, which I know is probably not the best when you have to get up at like 6.37. I've been trying to get up at 6.45 every day. <clears throat> I've been going to exercise in the morning, so yeah. Yeah, me too, Katya. I take turmeric every day. That's another thing I take. I take that for inflammation. So I take turmeric, and last night we had, I think we've been drinking ginger and turmeric tea. I think it's got ginger in it too. We, um, my husband cooked some sort of little chicken fillets. We stir fried it, and we put turmeric all over it. I just love turmeric on everything. It tastes so good. Yeah, Donya, I will. Yeah, I will. I will get with you. Just keep praying that the right horses come available. My daughter looks every week. She's really wanting one. Just pray that the right... Hey, Tracy, my bud. That the right horses come available for us, for our family. Uh -huh. You do. 83 years young. Okay. Let me see, Jennifer, if I can read the rest of your message to tend to. Well, you, blessings to you. Thank you for taking care of our elders and loving them. Yeah, I don't know. And Donia, they have a variety of horses that come in. They have some Arabians. They have quarter horses. They have uh, Tennessee walkers, thoroughbreds. 
Um, they've had to put down, sad to say, two horses. One had cancer uh, in its eye and in its body, and that was one we had hoped to get. He was a, uh, his coloring was a paint, and it's beautiful. And then another came in from uh, a lady who had gotten elderly and couldn't take care of him anymore. He had busted up his leg, and he had to be put down. So I hate, that's the bad part about the rescue. The lady that does this, I mean, I know it has to hurt her heart. So, yeah, I love trail horses. I'm hoping we get to do that. That's what you want, quarter horses? Yeah, yeah, because that's what we want to do. We want to do trail riding. That is what we want. The Arabians are not big enough. My husband's a big guy. He's got he's to have a, a bigger horse or a draft horse or something. I'm not sure. He's a big fella. He's like 6'4". What are you now, babe? About 240? <laughs> he's... He's been losing a little weight. He's about 240-something, so. Oh, and I've been going up and down. I've been yo-yoing on my weight, so. But I've been working again. I've been working at getting it down, so. It is, a, is it not a constant battle? Do y'all feel like that? Just a constant battle. Food is just so good. Yeah. Yeah, they are kind of high-strung. I've noticed that, too. We went to a... um dude ranch years ago and that's what the gentleman there he had a ravens but they're sm they were so small you just uh wouldn't carry a big person so my husband couldn't even ride and we didn't know we didn't know all this but anyway a side point there are a lot of good big horses that can be ridden by a big fella so yeah yeah, but those Belgian drafts can take a big guy. And I've been looking at a lot of, you know, those type of draft horses they can carry. can carry a big person, so. Well, what is everybody doing? I see somebody is taking, somebody's recovering from surgery. I believe that's Lisa. And we have a lady that's taking care of some elders. It's wonderful. I'm going to play, like I said, on the trails. We've never done this before. Yeah, weight is a struggle. I know it. I love to eat. <laughs> it wouldn't be a struggle if I didn't like to eat. I like I like French fries. Why is that? <laughs> That's one of my favorite foods. Anything with a potato. French fry, potato chips. I like tortilla chips too. With fresh salsa. And make some good salsa out there in the in the West, in the Texas area. Y'all have good salsa. Yeah. Homemade french fries, I know. My mother used to make what they would call now, they call it home fries, where you slice the uh, potatoes like in little round circles and just fry them in the pan all together. Now, nothing fancy. Sometimes you put onions in there. I miss that. That's one thing she used to make. It was good. But yeah, homemade is the best. And do eat. Uh, let's see, somebody was going to the market. So that is the best way we can eat and take care of ourselves. Oh, I do too, Katya. I love mango and pineapple. I love any fruit. Peach. We have a lot of peaches in South Carolina. I think South Carolina is probably uh, leads Georgia over peach crops. We have a lot of peaches. And they are so beautiful in the spring. If you've ever seen a peach orchard in the spring, Blossom, it is the most beautiful sight. Go to the eggs. I know, I know, that is true. Hey, Tracy. Got a couple of Tracys out here. Good to see y'all this morning. Tracy, Tracy Green, I owe you a call. I saw where you called me. <laughs> it has been a week. I, I hurt my hip. I was saying earlier, I hurt my hip and I couldn't walk. And... I had to walk. I mean, I had things I had to do. Morning. So, it sort of threw me a little bit. I had to go to the chiropractor. And then I've just been exhausted by dealing with it. Because it, it was pain all day. Music festival. Oh my gosh, that sounds awesome. I'd love to be going with you to a music festival. That sounds wonderful. I love music. Especially outdoors. That'd be fun. I'm a musician. I have a lot of musician friends, and I do love to go and support my friends when they're playing and different things. Uh, 
It's wonderful. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I had to go to the chiropractor. He got my hip back in place. My legs back. Both legs were out. And but but after I went to him, I was very and it, it was the most gentle adjustment I've ever I believe I've ever had. I didn't hardly feel it. But by the end of that day, I was very sore because I guess I had been walking wrong for about a week. Uh, yeah, those backflips. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Well, I had time off of CrossFit this week. That's for sure. I did go. I did some personal training, and I just told my trainer, I said, I can only do upper body. By the way, if any of you CrossFit, um, the games are starting. Lynn, is that like an international thing? CrossFit, CrossFit, Madison, Wisconsin. It is. They have an international competition. It's in Madison, Wisconsin. So look it up. If any of you want to be inspired and just see how crazy fit some of these people are, they come from all over the world, and they're all ages. Yes. They're all ages. They're our ages and, and older. And they're in phenomenal shape. So turn it on and watch it. I'm sure you probably could find something. You probably could find things on YouTube where people are recording and doing it live when they get going. I think now they're probably getting ready for the games. So my trainer, she went, she is a, uh, she works it. She goes and she works during She's like judge different things. She does set up. So, yes. No, I didn't do anything, Tracy. That's the freaking thing. How did I hurt my hip? I didn't, that's the crazy thing about it. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I have no idea. I didn't do really anything. I think particularly, I think what it was, was just from years of sitting improperly, standing improperly. So be very mindful of how we sit, how we stand. Because I stand like with a hip cocked out. So I think that's what it was. Well, y'all, I am going to sign off. Remember, we were talking about potential. You have great potential. And your potential is limitless. And remember, you know, your best life can be ahead of you. If only you believe that. Just believe that. Receive it. Take it. You have great potential. And if you would be open to that and be willing to put in some work to challenge yourself, challenge myself, if we're willing to do that, we can see our best achievements, accomplishments, and our best life ahead of us, not behind us, ahead of us. Because now you're seasoned, you know a little bit, you know, just enough to be dangerous. <laughs> so we're getting better, we're getting wiser, we're getting stronger. You got this, ladies. I love y'all. You have a wonderful day.